So we came, we started in 2008, and we recognized early on that there were quite marked differences between the digital imagery available through the sort of technical platforms that were available then. So that one size doesn't necessarily fit all, and if you could take a wide view of that marketplace, you could do a better job for clients. The analogy I'd use is, if you were buying TV, you wouldn't buy one channel, and you wouldn't buy one show on that one channel. You'd buy a selection of channels and a selection of shows. And what our technology was designed to do, it's called Proteus, was create a management layer that allowed you to pick the best inventory and the best tactics from a wide uh, supply base. But to do it from a trading screen, which means that you can empower individuals to trade inventory across multiple uh, display uh, demand side platforms in a way that means that you can flex. So if you need more mobile or more video, or if Asia is different to EMEA, is different to the US, which of course it is, you can just choose the right mix uh, in real time, uh, and therefore you're sort of future-proof. And that's where the whole concept uh, came from. And obviously, uh, the big event for us happened uh, last December when we were acquired by WPP. And our mission now is twofold. We are building a scaled version of Proteus to empower our Group M agencies across the world to do exactly that model. Obviously, an agency wants to bring in as wide a view of a marketplace to their clients as they can, and in the programmatic space, that's what our technology allows. But we're also um, acting as a, a specialist agency within Group N and pitching for our own business in our own right. So we still have an exchange lab identity, which is outward-facing uh, beyond Group N. And what is the range of media that goes through the system, through the platform? Uh, well, we're dealing in all platform, in all devices. The, the big change that's happened over the last two or three years is moving from a, a DR base of display into a premium space, but also into mobile and video. And mobile and video is the big growth areas. So we're cross-device. So we're basically mimicking what consumers are doing in terms of the way they consume digital media and putting the advertising in that space in an appropriate way for maximum effect. Cool, and uh, speaking of video, you have uh, know a little bit about this with your background at the BBC. Uh, what are some of your thoughts about sort of the um, broadcasters uh, and the progress that's been made generally as you see it in terms of making their inventory available in a more programmatic way? I think it's pretty slow, to be perfectly honest. And, and I think the reason is that there's no, as yet, burning platform in television. If you look at the US figures, the, you know, TV's about 50% of all media. It's stayed around 50% all the time that digital's been growing. But there are the first signs that the disruptors of Netflix and Amazon Prime and Hulu are having an effect because they bring a data play to television or to video that TV doesn't actually have. I think there's a second thing going on here which will make a massive difference and that is the tsunami of uh, millennial change. You know, I've got an 18-year-old son who never watches linear TV, will never watch linear TV, and consumes video in a wholly different way. And I think the TV industry is about to wake up to the fact that that push coming through is going to make a massive change to the way that they can be effective for those very lucrative audiences. So disruptions coming from the audience, disruptions coming from some of the sort of new plays in the video space, and I think that will mean that TV starts to move uh, much faster. First of all, probably for uh, certain placements where an auction model might make you more money, uh, but then more generally, because at the moment it's an outlier, and advertisers and clients are getting used to a lot more data, a lot more facts about their audience. They don't get that from TV, and so it's sort of, it's standing out there as still effective, but not really playing on the same playing field as the rest of digital media is. And I think that's going to have to change. So uh, give it another few years and I think we'll see some major changes.